Hello and welcome to the next part of the XCAM tutorial video. And in this special part I show you all the things about object selections. Because there are many different ways to select multiple objects and then work with these uh, object selections. But first a little addendum concerning the single brush. So here we go. And first I have to load an empty project. And start the single brush with this object by pressing P. And I think I have forgotten to explain that you can move the camera, of course, during the brush is active. So press the right mouse button to rotate the camera, zoom in, zoom out, and use WASD keys to move the camera. And if you hold down the Alt key, speed up the camera. So you see that's all possible during the brushes active. active. The next thing I want to show you is the possibility to select multiple objects. And there are four different ways to create an object selection. So the manual selection, the frame selection, the brush selection and the automatic selection. And now if you want to select multiple objects press and hold down the left control key and then left click the objects you want to select. And as you can see these objects then get a green bounding box. So you can better see which objects are already selected. And if you left click an already selected object then this object is unselected again. So I will select all objects here. Okay. But at the moment the objects are not really selected, but only pre-selected. And to create now a proper selection, simply press the return key. And then all objects are really selected. So to unselect the objects, press the spacebar. And this is also true if the objects are only pre-selected. So in this state press the spacebar and then you know no object is selected anymore. Okay now I will select all the objects again. Pre-select sorry. And now I select the objects by pressing a return. And now you can see a blue bounding box here around the area of the selected objects. And there is also a green bounding box around the reference object within the selection. Uh, that means the first object we had pre-selected is now automatically the reference object. And no matter if you have only two objects selected or maybe 20 objects, every selection has exactly one reference object. And you can simply set another object within the selection as the new reference object by simply double left click on this object. So you can see now this object is the new reference object. Or maybe this. And this is also working if you press the R key. So set the focus, press R, and then you have set a new reference object. Once a selection is active, the XCAM switches automatically to the alternate moving mode. And that means 
the camera is not attached to any object and you know you can move the camera around by pressing WASD and to move these objects now press and hold down the left mouse button and then you know move the mouse so it's the same procedure as with a single object and now of course all the nice functions are available so rotate the objects stepless rotate the objects stepwise change the high stepless or change the high stepwise set the objects back to the last known position move the objects on the x-axis only move the objects on the y-axis only then we have the possibility to copy all objects and please remember at this point that all the object copies are created at the same position as the uh, original ones so you have to move them around to see the new objects and you can press E to set them back to the created position and the next available function is a quit moving function and you know this function makes really sense in connection with a copy function so for example if I copy this selection and then you know this way you can really fast create some complex object structures really nice there is also the possibility of course to rotate these objects around any other object in this example this lamp so set the focus to the lamp press and hold down the left shift key press the left mouse button and then you know rotate the objects around this object that's also possible with the stepwise rotation function so use the mouse wheel and if you press page up page down then you can also use the 45 degrees rotation function and in connection with the copy function then it's easy to create structures like this so I copy this selection and now you see it's very simple now I will show you the reason for the possibility to change the reference object and if you for example rotate the object selection then the rotation axis is the reference object so and if you now select another reference object then you have also another rotation axis it's simple but you know sometimes it's nice to have and the second reason to have the possibility to change the reference object is if you want to set the orientation of the current selection to the orientation of the street for example and you already know the function so press tab no first set the focus to one element of the street then press tab then you know you can set the orientation so you know this is now the orientation but if you now want to have this part of the wall in orientation of the road then simply select one object here as new reference object and then set the focus and press tab 
now you have this wall in the correct uh, orientation or maybe you want that the house has the same orientation as a road and now the house has the same orientation as a road because the house is currently the reference object and there is also a new function available for an object selection and this function rotate the objects around their own rotation axis so press and hold down the left alt key and then move the mouse wheel up and down up or down and then you can see now the other side of each wall element looks to the outside and now again the other side so also nice to have there is also a very simple way to expand or reduce an object selection during the selection is active and now I have first to create a selection so these objects are selected and now if you want to add more objects to the current selection it's easy simply set the focus to the object you want to add and then press the key backspace and then this object is also part of the current selection and here you can see a small difference between the objects the objects with a green bounding box are part of the selection and the objects with a blue bounding box are not part of the current selection so then it's easy to find the right objects so press the backspace key now I have all these objects selected maybe this and this then you know so in this way it's very simple to modify the selection um, during the selection is active there is one important thing you have to know about this function you cannot remove the reference object so if you want to remove this object for example then you have first to select another object as the new reference object double left click and then you can set the focus to this object and press backspace and then you see this object is removed until now you only know how to create a manual selection by pressing holding down the left control key and then you know select the objects but this is not the best way if you want to select many objects and there is a second way to create an object selection and to start this function simply press the key return then you can move the crosshair and simply create a frame selection press and hold down the left mouse button and you know draw the frame release the mouse button and all the objects are selected now and if you start a new frame selection then it's always a good idea to set the camera to a good position in relation to the objects you want to select um, because for example if you want to select these objects and you have the camera placed to this position then you know it's it's not possible to to create the right selection so press space but if you move the camera to to the best position for the selection then it's it's not a problem to select these objects <laughs> 